Hey everyone, it's the Ionic Guy. Today I'm in the Kia EV6 GT. I'm doing some testing in this for the next week. So stay tuned for content on the EV6. What we're talking about today is the 12 volt battery draining issues for Ionic 5, but I've got some word from Hyundai Engineering about what's going on with 12 volts and what they think is happening. So if you wanna find out more about the 12 volt issue with Ionic 5s, stay tuned. So if you don't already know, there is an ongoing issue with Ionic 5s, and I've even seen Genesis GV60s and some EV6s, where the 12 volt battery will drain to a point that the car will no longer operate. So with our eGMP based cars, the 12 volt battery under the hood is what's used to power all the electronics in the car, the screens, the windows, all that kind of stuff. The traction battery, which is the big 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, that's used for moving the car forward and backward. That's where all your drivetrain power comes from. And what's been happening is the 12 volt battery has been discharging to a point where the car will no longer turn on, the doors won't open, you can't turn on the car via the power button. So it's leaving people stranded and people are really mad. There's been countless Ionic 5 owners who've brought their cars to dealerships. The dealerships can't figure out what's going on. So Hyundai has ultimately bought back some Ionic 5s under Lemon Laws, as they should. If I had a brand new car that's 12 volt battery, just didn't work, wouldn't charge, whatever, I would be livid. I'm lucky enough that I'm one of the Ionic 5 owners that it hasn't happened to. So I'm very happy that I've been that lucky, but it seems like every day there's more and more people complaining about it. So Hyundai has known about this for a while. They've been investigating internally and they have come to a conclusion that they think is the reason that's causing 12 volt battery drain. And I have their statement that they provided me the other day. I'm the only person that got this statement. So if you guys wanna share this video, please share it to other social media outlets where people can find out. So the statement reads as so. A lot of work has been done to investigate the 12 volt battery drain issue. Below are some insights. Unauthorized third party apps were requesting information too frequently from vehicle each time it wakes up the vehicle, it causes significant draw until it goes to sleep each time. So what they're calling here battery saver means the high voltage battery charging the 12 volt battery was being overwhelmed by all these requests through Blue Link for data uploads to the cloud. On January 31st, a countermeasure was taken to limit Blue Link transactions to 20 per day. So when you go into the Blue Link app and you try to remotely start your car or locate your car or lock the doors, each one of those is a request. So we are now limited to 20 per day, but it doesn't sound like people doing this is the issue. It sounds like it's third party applications that are connecting to your car through Blue Link, which is causing the excessive battery drain. And the only things that I can think of off the top of my head are local utilities and they give people discounts if they charge their car at lower rates or they don't charge at all, depending on demand of the grid in your area. And what they told me is some of the cars they were testing were seeing as much as 5,000 requests per day. And the poor little 12 volt battery just could not handle that many data transactions getting uploaded to the cloud throughout the day. The battery saving mode just would not keep up with it and the battery ultimately just completely died. So they also mentioned certain problematic unauthorized apps were identified and are blocked by our server. And this member of the PR department did not know which apps specifically that would be. I'll try and find out because that would be helpful information to know what you might've connected through Blue Link. I know I personally use Recurrent, which tracks battery degradation. I reached out to Recurrent. They confirmed to me that Early on, they had some issues connecting through Blue Link to Ionic 5, EV6, and GV60, and they have since limited it to one transaction per day where they're checking your range and battery state of charge. So I can safely say that Recurrent isn't one of the apps causing the issue. And I don't really know what else connects to the car through Blue Link other than these local utility incentive programs that I have heard of causing issues with Teslas in the past. Even my local utility Eversource has had issues with this and Tesla owners were furious, so they stopped using it. So I know some of you have had your cars at dealerships for a long time and they've been replacing hardware components in your car, trying to figure out the issue. And I just wanna tell you, 
This is what Hyundai is telling me. I don't know with 100% certainty whether this is every 12 volt battery issue case. It could just be a select few. Some of you might be having a completely different issue, but since January 31st, they have been doing something about it. So if you've had a 12 volt issue come up in the last month and a half, leave a comment down below. Let us know your experience and what exactly happened. I just wanted to get this information out to you. This is directly from Hyundai's PR department who spoke with the engineering department. So it's the best firsthand information we have. It is something, hopefully they've come to a resolution with this really annoying issue that's been plaguing so many owners. So anyway, guys, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.